Okay, so stoop revamp step two. So as you can see, that part of the concrete is dry. This is all sprayed down with white vinegar. I researched online and that's the best thing to clean it with. So I'm doing that. So when I painted this gas line, I accidentally dripped here. I got cocky and didn't think I needed a drop box. It's actually removing that. I've only just let that soak on there for a few minutes. So then I'm just re-spraying it. I'm not even, like it's pretty flat to the surface. There's no angle to my screwdriver here, but it's just helping get some of that surface off. So what I'm hoping to do once I've got the majority of this off, little tiny white ones. So once I get this prepped to what I like, then I'm gonna stain it. You can actually use wood stain. You can Google all this information, that's all I did. I have some stain lying around that is gray in color. So I'm just gonna stain the top of this to help seal it and protect it and refresh it a little bit. I did not expect white vinegar to do such a great job on that. So once I, after I work away at this a little bit longer, I'll update you. Okay, so that's basically as good as I'm gonna get those paint stained. So now what you do with the white vinegar is just let it dry and keep coming out and repeating this process as many times as you feel necessary. Every time I spray an area, you can just see the dirt being moved out of the way. Yeah, so there's gonna be a lot of prep to do on this. So this is after the first round of vinegar. As you can see, there's like salt. See, like I do clear this off in the winter and I put salt down so no one trips on it. So I'm thinking that's the salt that's coming back up through. So I'm just gonna spray it again and that is it wet. Now we wait for it to dry. Okay, so this is post spray. The salt is still coming out which is making me actually super glad that I am going to be staining it and protecting it. I'm just gonna keep spraying. It's getting better, it's getting fainter, but it's still pretty strong, especially in some spots like that one. So I sprayed it late, late last night in the dark and I'm just looking at it for the first time now. That's not too horrible, that's actually getting there finally. I'm gonna spray it again right now. When I'm spraying it, I'm concentrating on the areas where I can see the salt coming out. Just spray right over. We'll see how many more times we need to do it and wait a few hours and see how this dries getting ready to do another round wow it's the salts are really coming out and i don't know what squirrels are doing but that needs to be swept off okay it's all wet now you can even see it when it's wet where it all is that big section over there is, is good i probably won't have to spray it again maybe just those front pieces there okay see how it looks after it's dry it's taking longer and longer for this to dry. It is looking better and better though. This might be the last round. That half is, is good. It's funny, in person that whiteness is not there. That is, but that is not. Another round. It's early morning. I want to spray it again. See how many times I can spray it today. I don't know. Every time I think it's getting there, more and more stuff comes out. So once again, it's not fully dry, but oh my god, more and more and more of salt. Okay. Time to spray it again. So it's sprayed, now we wait and see. Okay, so it's the same day, this is how it looks now. It looks like it's almost dry, it's just coming out. I do not wanna grab the scrub brush and deal with this. I'm just gonna keep doing this. This is actually Monday, so I'm gonna actually skip a week of videos doing this. Here we go, spraying it again. So it is later on in the day, it's a, it was a hot, hot day. So whereas I thought that that was looking wet, at some points in the video where I said it earlier, it's actually not. That's the color it's supposed to be and that the rest of that is all the salt. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do this earlier today, like I was hoping to. I totally forgot about this. So here we go now. There's a lot of salt right there and a lot of salt under there. I found this amazing outdoor cleaner. It's called 30 Second Outdoor Cleaner. Found it at Canadian Tire. I think I'm going to have to bring that out and the scrub brush. See how that dries. Okay, I only got one spray on it yesterday and wow, it has like exploded with salt again. It's an in, insane amount of salt that just keeps coming out and out and out. And out. This really needs to be stained and protected.